This is tennis's biggest controversy. In 1977, three men stood out among the rest. Jimmy Connors, Bjorn Borg, and Guillermo Vilas. But in an era where computer rankings were in their early years, who truly deserved to be ranked as the number one player in the world? Connors, who was ranked as world number one by the year's end, won eight titles, including the WCT and ATP Tour Finals, as well as being a finalist in the US Open and at Wimbledon. Borg, who also spent a week at number one, won 12 titles, including Wimbledon, likely the biggest tournament of the year. Both of these men sat at the French Open, where Vila stepped up, bolstering his season which featured 16 titles and two Grand Slams, as well as over 130 wins. But despite this historic season, Vilas was never officially recognized as world number one. So because each player has an impressive resume and an argument to be ranked number one, it makes sense that 